Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. You guys remember the C-Techie power station? 240 watt hours of storage, lithium iron phosphate. If you remember, I found a bug with the solar charging. Well, C-Techie actually reached out after my review and said that there was in fact a bug with solar charging. Well, they shipped out a repair kit. I fixed my C-Techie, now it works. Let me go ahead and show you uh, some actual solar testing and then uh, we'll show you how to fix it. Let's jump right into it. Okay guys, I'm out here with my cell phone. Just a quick video. I just applied the fix to the C-Techie. Let's see if it actually charges or if it does that reset thing. Okay, so we're getting 55 watts in. 2.53 amps at 22 volts. Charging port MPPT 18 times 3, 22 times 3, so there's a 3 amp limit. So that's like 55 watts to 66 watts. So the max we could see is 66 watts if we had 22 volts coming in. Okay, so there's a closer look at the charging here. So 56 watts in. Now I did see the maximum of 59 watts a little bit earlier. So pretty awesome. Remember this was doing the reset so it would never charge on a solar panel. So 60 watts input on a small little battery like this is pretty decent and it's way better than not working. So the fix does appear to be working. Okay, well it's good to see this power station working. Now, c did let me know that they will apply the same update to all the new power stations in their new batch that they send out. So there should not be any solar issues with any of these 240 uh, watt hour um, batteries um, in the future. Now they did drop the price on the ones with the issue and I'm guessing the price will go back up as uh, the newer versions come back in. So if you see the price go up, it should mean that the firmware has been applied and it shouldn't have any solar issues. I hope they'd also make an update that maybe says, you know, updated version, solar issues fixed, something like that. So you just know uh, whether you're buying an old one or a new one. Now this is the repair kit they sent out, but basically there's a couple parts inside. Um, you get a USB-A to USB-B uh, cable, it's about three feet long. And then the main brains of everything is just this serial connection. This is USB type C to USB-B. And so what this does is, um, this is a serial connection so it can communicate to the port inside the c -Techie and then uh, to your computer. So you basically plug this in here and then you plug this side into your computer USB port and you plug this into the power station in the USB-C port. And uh, as long as you have the software installed and the drivers, which I'll have in the video description down below, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I repaired it. But as you do that, um, should be able to fix the solar issues. Anyways, if you guys have any questions about the repair process, let me know, throw a comment down below. But uh, hopefully you guys find this very helpful. But let's go ahead and jump into the firmware update for this power station. Okay guys, the first thing you wanna to do to do the fix on the C-Techie is to download the two folders that are in the shared drive of the video. So go ahead and click on that link to the shared drive and you'll see two folders you wanna download. Once they're downloaded, we want to extract them. So you right click and go extract all. Then you'll get this pop-up, you just click extract. There's the folder. Then we'll click on the other one, right click, extract all. Get this, go ahead and extract. Okay, so now you can delete these extracted if you want, just to make it a little easier. So now we have these two. Now, this is the driver to get the dongle to work, and this is the app you need to push the firmware upgrade to the power station. So let's go ahead and install the driver first. So what you wanna do is plug it in. You can search for device manager, and then you'll see once it's plugged in, it actually doesn't um, recognize what the device is, so it needs the driver installed. So that's where I found this here. It's a USB serial driver, so you click this, Click in here, go into driver, and then run this setup. So right click, run as administrator. You just click yes on the pop-up. And then you'll get this guy here, and you'll click install. Now this takes a second to load, and then you'll see right away, you'll get a pop-up saying it was success. You can close this out. And now it's showing up as the CH340. So now the USB dongle is working. So once that is set up, we're good to go ahead and install the actual app. So if we go back to our original downloads, now we wanna install TerraTerm. This is the app we use to push the firmware to the power station. Go ahead and open this up. Now this is the firmware that fixes the solar, and this is the app that you install. So you right click the app and you go to run as administrator. Click yes on the pop-up, then you get this little window here. Next, I accept the agreement, next. 
default install locations fine next and just leave everything default here click next english next terraterm next uh, i do not want to make a shortcut in quick launch i just want to create a desktop shortcut click next and install and then you can click to launch it okay so once you launch the terraterm uh, app you'll see a window like this now in order to connect to the proper settings we need to have this set to serial now this will be grayed out if the driver's not working but we've already fixed that just remember to select the proper device now you ha may have multiple serial devices we want to select the ch340 the com5 com3 is just what usb ports it in so if i change this to another usb port this will change from com5 to a different com number go ahead and once you have this selected go ahead and select ok and then we'll click the setup tab serial port change the baud rate to 115200 click OK now we're ready to connect the power station to the computer so I lost the video for this I will patch in their step here and then we'll continue on the instructions uh, so first uh, let's connect this C type cable this C type cable with the, the USB C type here and connect this USB with the, the laptop okay so press this like button for nine seconds one two three four five six seven eight nine and press this switch button and release the like button first and release the switch button so we can see that the backlight of the product is on so it's mean the the, the product is now ready for software upgradation okay guys once we have the driver installed the app installed and we have the CTAGI connected to the computer and you have the baud rate set to the 115200 you can go ahead and press enter now when you press enter you'll get these multiple options now the first thing you want to verify is that the bottom says enable write protection if it says disable write protection you need to push 4 and then kind of restart the whole process now it should say enable from the beginning so that's where we'll want to start now you'll go ahead and click number one. Now once you click number one, you'll see this uh, new line that says waiting for file to be sent. And it gives you these capital C's. This is where we'll go ahead and select the bin file that was provided in the Google Drive. So then you go ahead and click file, transfer, Y modem, and then send. And then you'll get this browsing box. You'll basically go ahead and browse to the bin file that we already downloaded. So it was in the TerraTerm folder, so go ahead and select that uh, 213 bin file. Now once that is, once you click OK, it'll start applying that uh, to the power station. Then you'll get a programming completed successfully with the actual bin file name and the size. And then you'll have the main menu again. To apply these changes, you'll want to make sure you click number three, which is execute the loaded application. And uh, it'll basically say start program execution. Once you do that, it's basically uploaded to the device. So now you're good to go ahead and use the power station and the solar should work.